This week, I want to talk about how you specialize within the uh, multiple subdisciplines and sub subdisciplines of anthropology. Uh, this topic is one that I get asked a lot, both as a, a professor in class, but also as the advisor in the anthropology major. And it's a really hard question to answer in some ways, because it's a little bit up to you to decide how you're going to do it. However, there is a more satisfying answer to that question. And uh, as a department, we're also working to make it easier for you to, to do that. So firstly, I do get asked a lot if you have to formally declare a specialization within anthropology. Technically, we are a four-field anthropology department, which means we have specialties in archaeology, cultural anthropology, biological anthropology, and linguistic anthropology. In our department, you do not have to choose a specialty formally. Your degree is a BA degree in anthropology, and it doesn't matter where you spend your emphasis or your time trying to build emphasis, and you can choose to emphasize one or more of those subfields. Other departments sometimes do require somebody to formally declare an area or subfield. Sometimes it's one of the four subfields. Sometimes it's sort of loosely split between more quantitative approaches and more qualitative approaches. So for example, my undergraduate program at UC Davis required you to choose either a BA degree in anthropology in which you would specialize in linguistic or cultural anthropology and perhaps uh, archeology span or a BSc degree in anthropology in which you specialized in biological anthropology or archeology. span so, I chose the BSc route because I came from a sciences background and it made sense for me to do that. In our program, you don't have to worry about anything uh, quite so uh, difficult as that at the moment. However, you may want to choose a specific subsuite of courses in the upper division uh, part of your uh, degree to help you prove competency or perhaps show um, fluency in a particular area or areas of anthropology, depending on your career goals and your interests. We are going to talk about careers later on in the semester. In particular, we're going to talk about what you can do with an anthropology degree. But I thought I would move this topic up because it's relevant to planning your coursework through the rest of your time here. And it's also relevant to how you go about exploring the areas of anthropology. So new for this semester and hopefully moving forward, we'll be updating this is a document called Roadmaps or, or Pathways, uh, Career Pathways in Anthropology. We have been working as a faculty to develop curated lists of courses that you can take, both anthropology courses, mainly anthropology courses, and also a few other courses offered by other departments to help you curate that skill set for a particular uh, area uh, within anthropology. Now, these are roughly aligned to our four subfields, but we offer uh, a few different kind of career paths in each one. So these are sort of ways to show specialty, but not necessarily just like within one of the four subfields, helping you get to a specific career goal. Uh, that will be next in the module. So click through that. It's, it's organized as a uh, slide deck that you can click through and you can see the lists of classes. And then there's a final follow-up segment in this module um, showing other ways that and other specializations that you might want to pursue and skills that you might want to develop. So essentially, in a nutshell, you choose your specialization in our program simply through the classes you choose as electives and methods. And uh, that's relevant for planning your way through, uh, you know, the next couple of years here, but also with an eye on some sort of future career goal or perhaps grad school or something like that. So hopefully you'll find these resources useful. We can certainly talk about them more on our next town hall. And if you have questions about specific careers, we're gonna to get to that a little later in the semester.